guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a choco flan. Choco flan has been requested here for a very long time, and basically what it is, it's a cake. Half of it is just like a traditional chocolate cake, and then the other half of it is like a car, like a creme caramel, which is um, like flan. Choco flan, get it? I hope that you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. This recipe was given to me by a friend of mine who's actually from Mexico. She, I posted a picture of her on my Instagram a while back making tortillas. So I really love this recipe. It's super simple and easy to do. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You'll need some all-purpose flour, plain old granulated sugar, cocoa powder, salt, baking powder, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, eggs, whole milk, You'll need some sweetened condensed milk and some evaporated milk, some cream cheese, some eggs, two whole eggs and two egg yolks, and then you're going to need a vanilla bean and some either cajeta, which is like a Mexican um, caramel sauce, or you can use regular store-bought caramel, or you, you, know, you can make homemade caramel sauce, that's perfectly fine. I buy the store-bought caramel uh, only because in my supermarket it's extremely difficult to find cajeta. So, that's what I'm using now. Uh, okay, the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 350. Second thing you want to do is take a 12 cup capacity um, bun pan and spray it really, really well with some nonstick cooking spray and get that out of the way. Now, this the cake part itself, it's incredibly easy to put together, and I mean that. What we're going to do is actually, I'm going to take my vegetable oil, my eggs, my vanilla extract, as much as you like, I like a couple teaspoons, and my whole milk. Now all I'm going to do is mix these up together, and that's it. And that will be our wet ingredients. That looks good. Set that aside. Now what I'm going to do, I basically have all of my dry ingredients already per, in, you know, in one bowl, but I'm going to sift this only because this is a new tub of cocoa powder and it's got a lot of lumps in it and I want to just make sure that the end product doesn't have you know, lumps of cocoa powder through it. So I'm just going to sift it. Not my favorite thing in the world to do, but you know, it's not so bad. That's what I meant. The tub of cocoa powder I had a lot of, of those running through it, so I just wanted to make sure you sift them out. Okay, before we go any further, I want to take my caramel sauce, which by the way, a great trick anytime you're taking anything sticky like honey, molasses, maple syrup, caramel, pancake syrup into a measuring device or a cup or anything really, spray it with nonstick spray. It comes out really, really easy. And all I'm going to do is pour this in the bottom of my bun pan. Now this is going to look odd, I'm not going to lie. You're going to think to yourself, this is not going to happen, Laura, it's not going to come out right, but have faith that it will. Now obviously there's tons of different variations of this, of this cake. Um, this is just my variation of it. It's actually not really mine, but this is the variation I make and everyone loves it. So now I'm going to do is just pour my wet into my dry and just mix until your batter comes together. That looks delicious and creamy and all things wonderful. Set that aside. Now I'm going to make my flan mixture in a blender or food processor. It just works best because you want to really make sure that that cream cheese is fully, fully, fully blended. I'm going to put the cream cheese in the blender along with pretty much everything else. Evaporated milk. So in condensed milk, and by the way, please tell me I'm not alone that I like to eat condensed milk as is out of a can. Don't make me feel depressed about myself. Tell me you're with me, because I'm, so, I'm obsessed with it. If I'm using sweetened condensed milk, this is happening. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Your two whole eggs and two egg yolks, and now the deliciousness in a form of a vanilla bean. You can use vanilla extract, of course, but if you've got a vanilla bean on hand, please use it. It's like caviar for dessert. It's amazing. Just want to split it down right in half because that's the seeds are all inside. And then just open it up. You see those little black beads? That is your goodness right there. And then just take the back of your knife, try and get that open for you. Because it was bent in there, it makes it a little bit difficult. Come on, cooperate, vanilla bean. 
There you go. Take all your seeds and put them right in there. Now, don't you dare throw away the vanilla pod because that's got incredible flavor. And now I have to stick it into a mason jar and cover it with sugar. Let it sit there for a bit and you have the most amazing vanilla sugar on hand. And I like to give it away to people. Makes me feel like a nice person. And people always love it. It's great to sweeten your coffee or anything. All right, there they are. See, this is amazing. You pay for it, might as well use it. All right, I'm just gonna blend this until it's nice and smooth. All right, that's done. So let's get this baby in here, shall we? Pour your cake batter all around. Trying to get it even, but the baking police isn't going to come knocking on your door to make sure you got it all even, so don't worry. It all evens at the end. And then, there we go, you pour this all over the top. Beautiful. All right, cover this up with some aluminum foil. Get it nice and tight. And then, just take some really hot water, as hot as you can manage out of your sink, and fill in. Now, you've noticed that I put my bun pan into like a baking dish or a roasting dish that's big enough to hold the bun pan. You want to pour some hot water in and around your kitchen floor so that it reaches like an inch up on the bun pan. I'm making a mess here. That's okay. Okay, now you're gonna pop this into the oven at 350 for one hour, and then I want you to take off the foil after an hour and pop it back in for about 10 minutes or until the top, the cake part, is fully set. Then you need to let it cool completely for a good hour or so before we invert it, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're there. I caked baked for one hour covered, then I took off the foil and let it bake for another 15 minutes or so until the top was set and then I let it cool for about an hour and now we need to just, I just like to press it just like that in the center to make sure it's loosened up a bit. You take a platter or a cake stand, obviously it needs to fit, and be a slightly bigger than your bun pan. So, flip this over, drum roll please. Wow, look at that. Don't you just love it when things come together? Half flan, half cake, total perfection. Now I would cut into this, but it's an absolute no-no unless you've let it cool completely in the fridge. But who am I kidding? Please. I don't follow the rules. I've been a rule breaker my whole life. Just gonna cut off a little piece. Because I do, I do want you to see, I mean, how fair would that be if I didn't show you what it looked like once it was sliced? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you? That's exciting. But, you know, it will taste even better once it's had a chance to cool and set in the fridge. Because flan needs to be eaten when it's nice and cold and set. But cake, on the other hand, can be eaten warm, hot, cold, room temperature, you name it. I wish that there was somebody in the room I could slap the living lights out of. Because this makes you want to literally go bonkers on somebody. Caramel, flan, cake. Hello! It doesn't get any better than that. Go to lartandkitchen.com to get this recipe. Totally foolproof, incredibly easy, and so impressive. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Have fun on May, or May, May 4th huh? on Cinco de Mayo. And guess what? It's to, it should always be a party in your house. You do not need a reason to celebrate. It's Tuesday night right now, and I'm celebrating with Choco Flan. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.